Uh, did you think during the week we would make it here? Did you think Dan was dead? Did, 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 you, think, <laughs> did you think Dan was wow, dead? Wow, what a start. Well, yeah, I was worried. <laughs> Seven, maybe 7.15am 7 yep. Thursday morning, yep. I'm getting ready to come here shoulder for footy shoulder cast. footy cast. And I get it. I'm almost in the car. I get a text message from Dan. Almost alarm bells on the phone. You know when you get the SAS or the WA police text message saying <laughs> someone's Searching missing, for searching for an 84-year-old man who's gone walkabout. <laughs> oh, I got a text message from Dan Const. I've just had a tumble in the shower. That was it. <laughs> like, tumble. Sorry, had a tumble in the shower. Just had a tumble in We're the shower. We're not in. Hammer side I, messages yeah. me and says, is Dan, <laughs> is Dan dead? dead? What happened? In the shower. You okay, mate. Yeah. Okay. So um, it wasn't that much of a surprise for me that I fainted because I'm, you know, I've fainted a fair few times in You're my a life. Fainter. <laughs> legend. A bit of a fainter. Legend. <laughs> I, I, I was, <laughs> yeah, absolute legend alert. <laughs> I, um, I was sick from about Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday morning, woke up from the worst sleep of my life. Fever, fever dreams, sweat, everything. How Chills. were the dreams? Feverish. Yeah, but what was? What were you dreaming about? Um, were they nothing? Because I had them as well, and they yeah. were nothing. They were nothing. It I was, was just checking constant. My, I checked my clock 117 times, and it was two minutes forward yes. every time. Mm. Yes. Hell. So I got it's a text from Will Wednesday morning saying, "Hey, just just checking. Did you have a crazy fever last night?" And Dan I was did, like, Dan "Yes." Dead right back. He's like unconscious in the bath. <laughs> Absolutely. Dan was dead. So I <laughs> I dead. slept off most of Wednesday. Um, Wednesday night, we you know got shelter the next morning. So I Thursday morning set my alarm, get up early, and I'm thinking I feel really bad, like mm. absolute rotten. But, you know, I've got a job to do. We've got warrior. to get, yeah, warrior, yeah. legend alert. We will explain who that fourth voice is in just a moment. <laughs> yeah. So I um, get in the shower and um, maybe I had too much heat on because I wasn't feeling great as it was. Mm. And then I felt myself sort of falling back, trying to catch myself. <laughs> and then I woke up um, like half in the shower, <laughs> half out the shower. <laughs> and it was a spinning and top on the desk. It was Inception. And, <laughs> and he was falling back through the... Through yeah. the levels oh, of and I woke up and I was 18 <coughs> and all these years <laughs> yeah. had not actually happened. No, so then I text you guys. 17 again, Zach like, Efron style. I hadn't, I'd barely dried myself. I text you, Skeet and Will, and I was like, boys, mm. cancel this morning. I am absolutely done. Mm. And as I'm like walking back to my bed, I'm still wet and I just like throw my phone and I go to bed and I, yeah, don't get out of bed for the next six hours. Well, there you go. Well, I'm glad you're yeah. alive. No, so well. I'm good. I'm like, uh, you know, I'm sweating like. Nothing now. Oh, we'll, we'll, get get to that. we'll get to that but, as well. Um, it's hot. But no, I feel good. I'm, I'm 80% there. There's, there's four members of the pod today. Yep. Yeah. Who we got? We got Benny. Ben, say hi. G'day, how are you? Ben Roberts is our um, resident, um, just good guy that comes along. Um, he's, no, he's not. He's our, he's our, <laughs> nah. big, he's our big guy. He's our big guy. Um, so if you haven't seen Ben's Instagram profile, which I'm really surprised you haven't because it's pretty popular, uh, Craft Noons Inn. Mm. Um, yeah, how'd you come up with that, Ben? You, I actually cringe a little bit every time I think about the name. Um, my, my thought process at the start was if people were searching for craft beer accounts, they'll type craft. So I wanted, mm. I wanted it to begin with craft. Wow. Yeah, good. Um, next product letter, that's placement. That's next, next letter A. Is that what you're thinking? Like yeah, yellow pages, smart. you do yeah. triple A. Yep. So um, and that's where it came from. And then, you know, a bit of a pun. And now I hate it. Like, but whatever. It was Craft and Oons in WA. Then I moved to Victoria, mm. dropped the WA. Now it's in. So Ben does yeah. uh, Ben does beer reviews, but not as you know it. Yeah, the I, project. Look, I, we're, we're going to beat around the bush a bit about you know you know what Ben does for a real job because he doesn't do beer reviews for a job, but he does do does nice a few things did. here and there. He used to work at West Coast, friend of the family here. We used at to Back work Chat. together, Will. We did. Um, those were the days. Did you work on Back Chat? Uh, do you work on the ba- Back Chat OG at any stage? <laughs> it's funny we were talking before. I reckon I was on Squawk Talk once. <laughs> wow, oh, says, oh, um, just a throwback. With who? Carl Morton, Carl Sinclair, no, Maddie Jepp, Maddie Jepp, Sinkers and Thumper. Yep. Uh, one time, but I, and I was always around the place, but never. That was yes. you know yours and Thumper's baby, so didn't want to step on any toes there. Fair enough. Big just, um, just to check, you weren't the guy who stepped in for a team photo shoot, were you? Yeah, that's true. That is a, a trivia question for you. Yep. How did you know that? Did you know that? I knew there was someone and I had a feeling it was you. Was that it was my me. body? Was it no, it was Callum Sinclair. <laughs> so we had our team photo day. We The team photo day was <laughs> after training in the morning. Yes. And Sinkers has busted his finger and had to go to hospital. And you can't... As we, but as we come on the podcast, Cal Sinclair, crybaby. Absolute mm. crybaby. Used to wear fixer mold around. Turned out to be a broken nail, you know. Yeah, like, so anyways, <laughs> so they needed half someone. Compound fracture. Yeah. <laughs> sinkers, you little bit. So they needed Bang. someone to stand in and, like, poor sinkers, it was me, like, mm. sloppy as. <clears throat> standing there, sucking in so hard, trying to look half athletic. 
No, no deaf in ish. Like the photo's hilarious. If you look at his head superimposed on my mm. body, it's no good. He wouldn't be happy with it. So Benny's going to be around. Benny's going to yeah. be around. Beer reviews. You're going to see some of them at back chat. I reckon we might get him to do a shelter review right here on the podcast live. Yeah. Not usually his style. Not a live sort of guy. Likes to clip them. Likes to edit them a little bit. Likes to get a, you know the timings right. Yeah, a bit of the humour's in the edit. Not going <clears> to <throat> give it to you, mate. <laughs> Raw, <laughs> uncut. Yeah, so <clears throat> extra pale ale. What are you, is anyone else drinking an extra pale ale? I've got the pale you got the pale ale. Well, do, do you know what the difference between an extra pale ale and a pale ale is? No. Um, no, I don't. Please tell me. Thank no, neither do I. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny bit hoppier, but not as hoppy as an IPA, an India What's pale hoppy? ale. I don't even know what mm. hoppy means. Well, they put hops into beer, the different types mm. of hops. So I think this one's got three different types of hops. I'm going to get this wrong. I think it's Cascade. The, the hop is called Cascade. There's a hop that's called Galaxy and Simcoe. They've all got different names. Genuinely sound like karaoke bars they in the office. They all give off. Galaxy different... definitely is one. I've <laughs> yeah, been there yeah. a number of times. <laughs> <laughs> Best Galaxy spot bar. ever. We've all got a story from Galaxy Bar. Spraying um, cranberry juice on the, they... <laughs> from, from the roof <laughs> pretending to be Triple H. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. Oh, that was Buddy fun, Betty. Please, <laughs> yeah, that's about good. Hamish, can you please go into a little bit more depth there? Mate? Oh, well, yeah. It was after the 2018 grand final, and in my first year, I was <laughs> <laughs> sculling what I thought to be cranberry and vodka, but it turns out to just be the mixer of just cranberry juice. <laughs> so I was just I was getting as much in my mouth as I could. And, Concentration was right. And I was on the I was on the aux cord to play the music and kept changing it to Triple H the game time to play the game and walking out and spraying cranberry juice on the roof is that the <laughs> du- 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 no no that's John Cena yeah, it is Sorry. it's um oh, me, yeah, yeah, it's, so t- it's time to play the game <laughs> and I'm just spinning it on the roof what day was this post granny oh that two days the... three days after Tuesday Wednesday that was, that was reckon, yeah day. it might have been a Tuesday I, they all blurred into yep. 11 to yep. 12 yep. Sorry, okay. we butted continue the beer reviews XPA hops Cascade XPA, Simcoe yeah it's a mid so it, the trick is with mids to try and get a bit more flavour in because mm. the alcohol is flavour almost so mids generally sometimes struggle to be as flavourful as others but this is actually a pretty good one and I'm not just saying that because we all love shelter <laughs> oh, um, yeah. you know what you can you yeah. can just say it we love shelter shelter um, simple beers but by design like they're a beer for everyone I would think like there's really pointy craft beers that like you were drinking oh Jesus what the f- what is that yes you can swear whereas this fuck but fuck me <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is just an easy drinking mid uh, lower elk beers going through going gangbusters at the moment really popular so you've got to have a mid in the arsenal this is a pretty good one I've got to be honest I love it XPA from Shelter yeah it's mm. very easy drinking not a, I don't I'm not it's like, like a Wednesday 3 pm yeah. yeah very good yeah. Ben, Dan Dan Wednesday Reagan. getting out of the Dan. shower <laughs> <laughs> Love a shower beer. Dan had 11 in there and that's Mate, why he fainted. Oi, coincidentally, Shelter do have the shower sour. Mm. Dan could have got one of those. Could have straight out of there. Dan const falling Sorry, in the before, shower. Dan that's on the next somewhere. print. Before we talk about my shower habits any further, yeah, shower, um, yeah. backchat double underscores where you can get us on Instagram. Oh, yeah. uh, send us an email, hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. And we're coming back to Ben for something else. Uh, backchatpodcast.com.au is our website. Mm. Often that's the end of your uh, email address as well. We have some patrons in the house. Yes. Yeah, we do. We've got it's some VIP guy. VIPs, Samps Dug. and Dougie, all the, the way best. from various parts of Western Australia, One, all the way Samps in. Samps is from Wellard. Yeah, Wellard. Doug, where are you from? Swan View. Swan View fucking Wellard. Yeah, Show sure. what. Round of applause. Yeah, right round of applause right right for the boys. Tell you what. So we have a full house. Yeah. Yep. It's, there's that many people It's Cat's last day with us. Cat's last day. Is it day. really? We're gonna, Shit. I, I'm yeah. going to tell you what we're going to do with later on. We're going to have Cat running the patron... After the after chat. show chat, yeah, oh, right. cat's getting in the couch. Yeah, you didn't know that cat. You yeah. do now. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be on. So, cat's been been with us for a long time. Mm-hmm. She's stepping away. So, Clayton, her partner, is in the house. Uh, Charlie we're, we're is in the house. Trying to convince him to stay around. Yeah, that's correct. Damo's in the house. Cat's in there. We got one, two, three. I did see the job advertisement on today. That is correct. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, nah. you, would you like to apply? Yep, I'm in. <laughs> okay, no, so we are looking for a producer. Right. So right. I can't do that. All those things being said, right, there are a lot of people in the house and they all should be here. Ben Roberts should be here, mm-hmm. right? Hamish Brayshaw should be here. Will Schofield needs to be here. Absolutely. Dan Conn should be here. All the other guys should be here. It's fucking hot. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Very, very hot. Um, it was, yeah. It's hot with four people in here. Yep. It's fucking hot with ten. Mm-hmm. Got an air conditioner. I uh, went and got one today. Had a few issues installing it. If you missed that over across Instagram, probably yeah. go and check that out. It's a bit of humor. Pretty funny. Uh, I'm not a handyman. I've opened the air conditioner up. It's got a 
75 centimeter tube hanging out the back of it. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's a portable air conditioner and you need to put that out a window. There is not one window yeah. in this garage that is anything under two meters high. And I had to go back to Buddings to get myself a yep. an, extension. an extension tube. It, the, the, I will say this about the air conditioner, right? It's great if you're right next to it. Or when it's on. Yeah, when yeah. it's on, it's nice. <laughs> when it's on, yeah. you're being blasted by the air. It's not it's, great to look it's at. It's sensational. Yeah. Little R2-D2 right looking thing. I couldn't it's think of anything worse to look at. It's mm. just, it's big. It looks a bit like It's there. not in the it's shot, but it's, it's, not it's in probably the shot. like a- It's a little it's a, bit like you. It looks a little bit like Dan. It's giving off heat from the back. It's and a it's small, right next stumpy, to me. fat little box. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and as Will said, looks a bit like Dan. Yeah, my dad didn't call me out for that though, so yeah. that's the difference. Oh, <laughs> that is um, true. Shit. He did, and we, I'm, we will I'm get to fat on. chat soon. But we, but I know it's, it's a, a positive little... outlooking here, Dan. Shut up. <laughs> that's right. Just give me a spell. Uh, ben Roberts is here, yeah. and we do need to ask a question that we ask every person that comes on the show oh. before we go any further. Mm. Now, Ben, you are an avid back chat listener. Yes, we know that. Know that. Yeah. You're always texting us. Boys, amazing episode this week. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, man. Really um, yeah. Your greatest. Just like we do with your reviews. The That's right, thing. exactly. Same your greatest shit. sporting achievement, though, not on the beer field, because if we're going to say that mm. you're our beer guy, you can't talk about. I don't know. You, you sculled a beer once. Absolute legend. <laughs> you I, I nearly sculled a beer once. Yeah. Great. Basically, you're in the same league as Dan Con, so you give us your greatest <laughs> sporting moment of all time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, a hat trick in cricket. Oh shit! Yeah. Talk us through it. Seventeen. Nice. Uh, league spinner. Oh, shit, yeah, respect it. Uh, should have ultimately should have chosen uh, cricket over footy mm. long t- looking back. but Matt Kuhneman eat your heart out. Yeah, what could have been? But, Is he uh, a leg spinner? Nah, but he's just this <laughs> neck spinner that came in. Um, <laughs> got the last two wickets of the first innings. Oh. And then it was a cr- double. Oh, double, wow. Uh, double day, uh, double weaker, I reckon. Shit. And because we just wanted to get out of the way, I opened the bowling for the next That's innings. Enormous. Fresh cherry. Like My God. Untouched cherry and at the first over put every fielder around the bat, all, all 10, 11, however many in cricket. And, uh, <laughs> yep, 10 with yourself being the 11th. Yeah, yeah I, I can't remember. And, uh, and bowled him. Uh, Far first ball out. Of the it was genuine scenes. scenes. Genuine scenes. Oh, Hit absolute the showers scenes. after that. Absolute <laughs> Absolute <laughs> scenes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My oh, God. Shit. oh, no. Yeah, it was, uh, it was crazy. I've still got the ball. I was it actually it actually fell out onto the floor. Do you have stealing, mounted, mate? stealing my life? Do you have it mounted? Do you have? I it don't mounted? have it mounted. No, no, no. Right. If you would That's like right. to get it mounted, you want to put it in the back chat studios. Yeah. We'll happily end after that for it's you. A memorable beer. Yeah, for That's sure. right. Interesting. They gave the um, leg spinner a, a fresh. Fresh ball. Usually, you want some swing on that with the fast ball. But yeah, well, that's right. One. It was the first, it was the next <laughs> innings new ball. Yeah, it's Dan over here. <laughs> that's our Pat Cummins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pat uh, Cummins didn't even take the new ball on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Cummins didn't. We, we had Kuhneman opening the bowling. Oh. Pat Cummins has got to go home though. He's got stuff to do yeah, with. He does. Um, all right. We we feel like we're we're through that. Let's talk about Fat Chat because yes. we've oh, yeah. all had various. Uh, it's been two weeks. Success. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks since we've checked in. Last week we had Hello Sport guys on, which was sort of a last yep. minute sort of thing when they came over from us. Hilarious. Scene. Varying feedback. My feedback was one of the funniest things I've ever Fucking been. Hilarious. Like, I yeah. couldn't stop laughing, and I had a lot of feedback like that. Some mm. some people were like, "What the fuck are these guys talking about?" <laughs> yeah. We had one in particular who said, "I don't know what the fuck I just listened to." Yep. But it is the funniest thing I've ever listened to. It's yeah. hilarious. I'm laughing. Shit, yeah. Boys are very good at their job. Um, they came in. We spoke a bit about fat chat with them as well. Yeah, they've yep. got a. They're, they're trying to get a six pack for the end of the year. That's their. I saw them today. They had the Danos Direct uh, six pack in you know six yep. weeks type thing where they strap the machine on. Mm, I've seen that on Instagram. <laughs> uh, they cranked it up to eight. It was like a dog collar on them, and now I'm getting jolter in. Fuck <laughs> uh, uh, right, so we all we weighed on? in. How many you weighed in today? Did mate. Yep. So let's just go f- back to the very start. How many you started at ninety eight point one? Your goal was to get to eighty under ninety. Eight, under ninety. Under ninety. Yeah. All right. Go on. Tell us. Where are you at? Oh, well, mine's a bit of a story, but okay. I um, but we're a podcast. I am you. very, very grateful we didn't do it last Monday. I'll put the it that way. way. Really grateful okay. we didn't do the Monday way. And I had one of the great weekends of my whole life. Can we speak wow. about that? Last weekend, yeah. like the great, probably the greatest weekend I've ever had. Mm. Yep. I got it was just a perfect Saturday, and to mix it up a little bit, I went to my mate's place and drunk piss by the pool again. <laughs> <laughs> which I've done every Saturday this year, um, which just proceeded to be – it was my birthday weekend, proceeded to just Happy have – thank don't, you kindly. I don't think we – We didn't uh, – It was – anyway, yeah, thank sorry, you kindly. No, no, uh, had just enough – too much beer to poke a stick at and then at about 5 o'clock someone, one of the boys had miraculously ordered a couple of hundred dollars worth of pizza from Pazaka, which came 
brilliant. Smash that down. Seven o'clock. I'm hungry again. A hundred dollars worth of KFC came to the house. <laughs> so wow. At the same wow. time, Wowie. I didn't pre order of KFC. Just no. Nah, I Uber eats it, but didn't tell the boys that we were doing it. At the same time, someone else got a hundred dollars worth of Domino's. So they both came at the same time. Going knocked that on back. Over there. Went out to you? Daisy's in Leaderville, and those one nine sixes can just get in me. Had too many of them. Got home at about two thirty and violently vomiting, but then I'm up again to watch the UFC in the morning, had another beer to get going, had some leftover pizza. Live or on TV? On TV. Mm. <clears throat> had some leftover pizza, went to Subway for lunch, <clears throat> pardon me, and got two footlongs, went home, was going to the Chili Peppers that night. Why are you eating so much? Because <laughs> I just needed to, I knew oh, I was yeah. having alcohol. Oh, had yeah. to just soak it all up. So two Subways for lunch, went to the Chili Peppers, or had about, I reckon about 10 beers before I got in the Uber to go there. <laughs> uh, got there, had just... Went to the had a uh, was paid to go to the West Coast box. Walked in there and they had sliders and these little sashimi things on oh, little nigiris that no one in the box had. So the lady said, "Please take the tray." So I'm sitting there with 25 of these things just <laughs> shoveling them down. Uh, single fin, single fin, single fin. Sliders, nigiris, little barramundi things. I roll out of there at 11:30 and just I'd I'd refuse to step on the scales the next morning. So thank God we didn't. I saw you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. I saw you on the way out, and I actually think I said to you, "This is the best weekend of my whole life." I put it in the, I put it in the top five of my life. Yeah, it was just. Um, I've been married and had kids. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, anyway, thank God didn't weigh in that what next morning. What did the morning. scales say? Uh, the scales that day from ninety-seven point something the next week said one hundred and two and a half. Um, so thank <laughs> God we didn't come back in that day. I'm a fluctuator. Yeah. Uh, That's wild. Anyway, <laughs> last Friday. Uh, well, the Friday just gone, had some pizza and watched the intra club at West Coast. Yes. Had about eight, I had some pass players coming in and I didn't know how many to cater for, so I got 14 extra large pizzas for eight people. <laughs> um, so you better have too much and too little. Correct, and I, of which I had about 15 slices or something like that, so <laughs> that's nearly two. Anyway, uh, had a few beers there as well. Saturday, get up, um, same, same, but different. Just got pissed again on Saturday night. What do um, you weigh, mate? Didn't eat at all Sunday. What do... Didn't eat a single bit of food that's Saturday, a, that's Sunday. Just six yesterday, last couple of weeks, yesterday. Yeah. woke up and just thought, I can't do this. I know I have to weigh in tomorrow. <laughs> I can't do Not this. Not going to do anything. Didn't eat. Woke up this morning, stepped on the scales at a very, very nice sight to see, 97.1. So you're happy with that? I'm happy. Well, I've lost weight since the last time we weighed in. Yeah, right. Okay, so you're down a, a, I'm down a, cup, a kilo. I'm down a kilo since altogether. the last time. Yeah. How are you After, going, Dan? I'm happy with that. So I, um, I didn't eat much in the last week because yeah, you're sick. too busy passing out. Yeah. Passing out. I think I had a meal and a half in four days. And, That'll do it. Um, when I when we originally started Terrific. fat chat, my dad said to me, "Oh, it's easy. You just get sick. You'll lose heat yeah, Best way to start a new diet: get real yeah. crook. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, that's what happened, and I'm so I'm down from 81 to 75. Wow, oh, my god. So I'm six down, two to go. After I had a pato burger about an hour ago and two beers, I'm probably you know. It's not about what you weigh in at the afternoon, mate. It's a you morning You didn't have your chips. You didn't have your chips. Didn't know 70. Chip. I, f- I finished 75, chips. yeah. And it's the first <clears> time <throat> it's like tipped below the lot. fluctuation it's level. Because you know I was saying like I, I fluctuate. Mm. Now I'm below <clears> that <throat> level of like oh, I could just be on the downswing. Benny, do you Is I mean, there a date at the end of this? Like are you April the 3rd. That's Actually, I know that. So have you peaked too early? It's a great question. Maybe. Maybe because I'm going to have to hold it off. You came in here, maybe you reckon. You came in here and go, hey. Mate, I've lost six kilo. I'm going to lose eight. I might as well fucking go fifteen. Like it's bloody easy. Oh, that's, mate, that's what you were saying. Yeah, wow. Did you not say that? Not once. Do you know? Have you, are you a fat chatter? I mean, do you feel like you should be a fat I chatter, Betty? Should be. You know what this is about. This yeah. is this is about how bloody hard it is in the real world oh, to mate. lose weight. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a bit like Hammer. Well, I'm just a. Look, I mean, look at the size of it. Like I'm a volume guy. You know my dad. World's greatest eater. Correct. <laughs> so it's in my genes. Yeah. Uh, a story about your old man. I'd love uh, to go toe to toe with him, by the way. Uh, he would, on the what? On the weekends? Eating. Anything. Good luck. So your old man, eating. property steward at West Coast. Yep. Um, uh, used to do a few other things. Just one of the great he, fellas. He, one of the great, great men. He goes to the Virgin Lounge. We fly <laughs> away to play yeah. a, a, away. Everyone goes in there and there, there's a buffet in the fucking mm. Virgin Lounge, by the way. There's, yeah. a, there's yeah. free food. He goes direct to the kitchen, gets his own platter. Of sausage rolls and party pies. He gets personal catering at the Virgin that, Lounge. And when I say platter, that, what? So that you yeah, know, yeah, you know how when you when you go to the Virgin Lounge and they have the platters of party yeah, yeah, pies, yeah. 
he gets his own and he goes and sits in the corner, <laughs> gets his, gets a Chips full, full tomato sauce, yeah. sits there and eats more. And not, not a Tommy sauce in like a little serving one. It's nah. a genuine bowl that they fill up so with So you're a chip sauce. off the <laughs> old block, Yeah, eh? just, just volume and um, – Oh, and it, it's a problem because, like, you know, pizza. I've been there, mate. I know. Oh, <laughs> Shit, I'm there. <laughs> and, and speaking the craft, of my language the at the moment. doesn't help. If that you're having these help. big double IPAs. Well, I'm just trying to limit it to tastings only now. Like, But then you say that and you go and have 30 on the Saturday. Yeah. Well, I was wondering that about tasting. So you, you do these tastings right on Instagram. What's the – it's Craft and Energy. And, is there any underscores involved in this? Only at the end. So if you don't Craft and Energy, sweet. Great. That's fine. Craft and Energy in underscore. Mm-hmm. Okay. When you're doing the – are you just having one beer? Or you haven't that, that, Yeah like Because I, I literally buy Mixed sing, mixed six packs Eight packs Sometimes I buy A carton of singles Right And you get a rate When you do that generally Right Generally um, So I just have one of each If I like it I'll go back But I get bored If I buy more than Like a four pack Or a six pack I'm, I'm ready for the next one The only exception To the 11 rules By the way mm. Is yes. doing what Benny's doing Really And can you explain that To Benny please uh, My mind. old man At one of his mates 50th Came up with 11 rules Of being a man And one of which is Always buy a carton Yep. So that if you're going around to a mate's place and I'm just going to have six beers, you leave him 18. Yes. But um, that's the one exception to the rule, obviously. Yeah. Which is what? Well, he's going to buy singles and mixed things and right. eights and sixes and whatever. But if that's I'm turning up to correct. your place for barbecue, you're not bringing it you, eight you can't singles. Turn up without a box. Yeah, I'm not saying, hey, mate, I've just got seven single beers <laughs> for myself. I'm <laughs> yeah, going to just do a right. quick tasting. <laughs> I don't know what you're drinking. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. These look good. So do you want to get involved in Fat Chat, Benny? Or is it something you'd I'd love to. What do you reckon you're stepping on the scales at right now? If I had to guess, I'm not at career worst. Brilliant. Um, really? What did that look like? I was recently uh, <laughs> in, in Melbourne, lockdown school boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> never drank more, never eaten more in my life. Yeah, that's and just brilliant. no motivation for anything. Perfect. Mm. Uh, that was 115 and, and a bit. Fuck a buck 15, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, that, 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 was a, that was a shock to the system when I stepped on and I ticked over the 115 that's barrier. Right. What do you think you are now? I reckon, I reckon I'd be between 110 and 112. That's all right. Okay. That's all right. Um, you flash a blood. Dan, Dan, Dan's like giving you a little smirk, like, oh, I don't know mm. if that is all right. Um, <laughs> no. One play, ten and change, that's all right. Play, played at 95. Yes. So that's not flash. I think you in similar areas to Schofield. Yes. Yeah. Play, played at 95, weighed in yeah. at 100 and... Uh, uh, eight, I think. Sorry, 107, sorry, yeah, we'll you. You, you weighed in at 107.8. Yeah. Weighed in today. I won't give it, go this yeah, full cool blown at Hamish Brayshaw story. I had a, had a big couple of weeks. Yeah, I know. 102.1. Well done, mate. Yeah, really cool. good. Yeah, well, I'm massive. absolutely charging. Shit, yeah, yeah. huge. Yeah, I'm just seeing double figures stepping on it is massive. It's just a mental win, isn't if, it? Ninety nine point nine will be a big day. Oh god, gotcha. yeah. I think I think I may have dropped the first five very easily though because it was just floating around. It's there to lose, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'm in trouble. Yep. But yeah, I need it. So I got a wedding. I'm a groomsman at a wedding in May, early May. So a little bit before your deadline, but I'd like to work to that. May, a little bit after our deadline, isn't it? April, sorry. Yep, there you got go. Me there. Thank you kindly. Uh, so a bit more runway for me. Mm. Uh, I'm a pastel suit, full like stone coloured number. Wow. So it doesn't do me any favours. Very nice. So You're I need a pastel to, sort of guy, aren't you? You are a pastel guy. Bit of coral work every now and then, I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, like tan suit, so that doesn't look flash uh, on a big guy. So, so what do you reckon you need to get? Sub? No. Uh, when it, when, I, of when I was in Melbourne, I lost 11. So after the first year of lockdowns, I went to 115-ish, and then I went down to 100 and... More than 11, 102 point something. Throw a number out there, Benny. And then, That's what we all want to hear, mate. And then, No, number. Uh, Throw I'll, it out I'd there. Love, I'd love to get to 105. Right. Oh, there all you right. go. Bang. Take it on board. Yeah, well done. Take it on board. You can join us on Discord. Yep. Yeah, Discord's where it's happening. Oh, I think we need to contribute yeah. more to Discord. Yeah, so yeah. I'm committing. I will. Go, go, go I, was go, go commi- I was contributing a lot more to the Instagram. Discord's got too many buttons for yeah, me, but I'll figure same, it out. I'll same. figure it out. But we need to contribute more. Unfortunately, Instagram is not our friend in this. No, it isn't. We'd love it to be, but it's not, so we're going to have to use it. If you want to join Fat Chat, I threw out there, I reckon we can get a Revo Fitness deal for everyone. I reckon we can get a I reckon we get a free membership. That'd, That'd be sad. nice. That'd yeah, be great. Yeah, that would be nice. All right, someone who doesn't need to and be on Fat Chat is free air uh, nice Shannon Hearn. Oh, God, I'm no, just going to swing, swing old thirst swing trap Hearn over here. Have to you. a look at this, man. If, so, you, if you're not um, dressed? Easily. Oh, yeah, best dressed. So, long, the, long so long. West Coast Eagles, they did a little NBA like uh, walk in for the mm. intra club match, essentially just a dick swinging contest to see who <laughs> yeah. looked the best. Walking, and in. it seems like they weren't dressing for you know whatever season it is. They just thought dress like Oscar Allen had this huge coat on, like it must yeah. have been thirty five like degrees, yeah. yeah. And he was still went went yeah. full. Shannon Hearn has gone with. Is this like him? Like I, <laughs> I don't really know Shannon, but yeah. seeing this photo, do you guys? Is this sort of his 
shtick? No, it's not. Not at all. So I sent this photo to Shannon on Friday when I saw it. Yeah. And I said, fuck me, bunga. This kit made me piss. Yeah. And he wrote back, gave the blokes a good laugh in the rooms. So <laughs> yeah. he would have been sitting at home. He yeah. would have known what the, the deal was. You know, it's, they would yeah. have, I don't know, the theme would have been NBA, you know, Yep. Wear your best kits, that sort yep. of stuff. He's gone the the jacket with no shirt on. He's, the got, pants, no jo- he's got no jocks on. He's got no jocks on. The yeah. pants are being held on by the top of his Dick. shaft. <laughs> and he's gone the the almost Siberian rusky looking hat. Yeah. He just is looking the goods. I said to him today, I was like, mate, you've got to get Instagram to put that one up there. But he said it's my Tinder profile I, already. I, I have it on good authority that this this photo right here has set some tongues wagging. Oh, oh my, I yeah. Confirm. I was talking to someone mm-hmm. about this this morning. Female department. Yeah. Yep. You got Genuine. 42 I mean, You got forty two boys running around the Eagles and there's a man. Have a look point, at him. Talk about, he's literally got a six pack. Of he's, hair. He's, he's, <laughs> he's 43. I mean, I mean, we've only got one female in here, but oh, that's – that's doing something for me, and that's yep. a little bit of back. Yeah, I, mate, seriously, <laughs> proclivities aside, that's hot. Yeah. That is hot. <laughs> so kudos to you, Bunger. Yeah, he doesn't need to join Fat Chat. No, he doesn't. Um, we are uh, a little welcome. Mm. We are sort of, sort of two weeks on from our OG sort of regular Back Chat show without um, – uh, we had Hello Sport last week. But something's happened since then. Peter oh. Boll. Oh, yeah, your best mate ever. <laughs> My best mate. Um, the – B sample has come back clean. Mm. So his A sample came through with uh, with EPO positive there. B sample, what what's happened here? Because you your your take Scotty, was that if the A was is um was positive, he's in he's in strife. He's well, he, he yeah. is in strife. He still mm. is in strife. He, like his reputation's been dragged through the complete mud, and it's the sports integrity Australia. Look, um, you two might not be able to actually speak about this, but I can. I just think it's a complete joke with how they've handled it from start to finish. And it doesn't matter if he gets completely exonerated. It doesn't matter if he gets found clear. The fact that the A sample was leaked, in fact, if he does get found clear, it's even worse. Like, it's it's not better if he gets found guilty. But if he gets found guilty, at least the fucking testing thing worked. If he Mm -hmm. gets found and there's no trace of it in his system... What a complete joke! Mm. He was he was in line to get uh, Australia, junior Australian of the year, young Australian of the year gone. Yeah, oh, the, there's cause there's cause for a defamation case. I would have thought. Oh, Bully, a little bit extra money in the back you pocket, mate. Is there, there's something that, is that I been would have thought so. Yeah, leaking that to then tarnish what was a budding career. Were you, so what, suing? What happens if the, it's suing a, the, the SIO? Do, do they look for a C SIO? sample now? They get a no a C deal. sample. So when you do the piss test, you yeah. give it a and a, a and a B. Yeah. And they've tested the A. The B is a backup. Yeah. And so the B's tested negative, but the A is still positive. Like the A has a synthetic so substance now, in it, yeah. which is bizarre think, to so be. Sports Integrity Australia are investigating. I guess they're going back and testing them again, or, or yeah. something like that. Like mm. what's happened? Like how yeah. do they do it? Because how do you know? Like the error wasn't. Yeah, the I'm second B. one. Yeah, the yeah. first one was right. Yeah, that's correct. And which is why it's such an absolute shambles mm-hmm. of a system. Yeah, it's and a I actually saw a tweet about this. Uh, from Glenn Mitchell, the caller. Yes. And he was like, Ben Johnson, 88 Seoul Olympics. I like, saw this. Like ran on the 25th. I'm making the dates up here. Yeah. 25 September did the run the race. Tested 26th the day after. Done the next day and stripped two days later. Like it's all done in five days. What did, they get, Whereas, what did he test positive to? Steroids? Mm. That's the other thing. Because Glenn Mitchell was asking why, why is there such a short turnaround then and why yes. is it... Would the reason be because testing is so much more advanced now? And so they're not just like spinning it around around a circle like this with their finger and going, oh, a little bit of a <laughs> steroid. Well, maybe Benny Mitchell was just so rife with it. He'd Correct. just been juicing up for yeah, months. <laughs> Benny <was> Mitchell. <laughs> ben Johnson. Ben Johnson, not Benny Mitchell. Who Glenn, Glenn Mitchell. Glenn wrote, Mitchell wrote, wrote it. it. Yeah, <laughs> ben Johnson. Maybe his was so rife with just yeah. steroids. He was pouring out his ears. Yeah, exactly. Down. But when he you pissed watch, in when it and his dad's arms. He, he looks like a man pumped. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He jumped out of the blocks and he landed about 10 metres down the track. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I'm not happy with it, Dan, to be honest. Oh, well, Something cool. else that um, you weren't happy with that you talked about on the show sure. footy cast this morning <laughs> was Jack Ginevan being um, suspended for illicit drug use. So Whoa. we're still we're still sort of – I wasn't even sure if it was from the AFL illicit drug policy, right? It was – because he didn't test positive to anything. Correct. I, look, I, I think this one, like, we covered it pretty well on the Shelter Footy yeah. Cast, so I think we can... There's, a, there's like a 20-minute 
Solilo- rap, soliloquy between me, me and Mark Reddings over there. Yeah, it's there. very good. Go have a listen to the that. Shelter Footy Cast. It's on the back chat feed, so it should be along there if you haven't listened to that. It's going to go onto its own feed, the Shelter mm. Footy Cast. Um, Dan didn't press a button, so it <laughs> hasn't gone over there. Uh, but, yeah... I'd be surprised if this is the last that we've heard of illicit drugs getting done in the AFL. Yep. We can leave it at that. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's get to a blue bet. I would love to – no, no, you don't have to excuse don't yourself, Hamish. And you don't have to excuse yourself, Ben, because we're not going to do a new bet. We're just going to talk about what we just did. Wow. Yes. You an NFL fan, Benny? Yeah. Right. So, Blue Bet, great sponsors of the show. Thank you very much. Alongside Shelter, alongside mm-hmm. Whippersnapper, alongside Mate River Racing Co., alongside Level Cameras. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Blue Bet, first bet of the year last year. We did an AFL bet. <coughs> now, you boys don't have to exclude yourself from this conversation. We did an mm-hmm. AFL bet. It was a random multi. Yeah. yeah. Started throwing around. I think everyone in everyone from Backchat sort of picked the leg. Just throwing out random numbers. We got a $13 multi, and it was the first mm-hmm. time we did it. We thought, oh, we just throw a bit of money in there. Yeah. Won it. One. 39 multi. Ding, one. Ding, ding. One. Blue bet, we're like, oh, gosh, what have we done? We've spoken to the boys at Blue bet. I believe we cleaned them out. I, yep. I, I, I believe they had we, to get a bank sure. loan. No, yep. we, we cleaned them out. Mm. And they weren't happy with it because they just signed the deal and we cleaned them out. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Didn't win another multi for the rest of the year. No, I think enough, so. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's about what, right. Are we doing big shopping list things or are we just sort of Mate, three or four legs? Throw, this was a four, four legger. Yeah, might brilliant. have been a five legger. Brilliant. Have a throw at the stars. Anyway, years gone. If we, if we totality, I think we probably broke even with Blue bet. Wow. Um, which is disappointing for the punters. But yep. this, this time around, I thought, we're going to start with a Super Bowl bet. Mm. Um, the brainstorm sits down. When I say the brainstorm, I mean me. Yep. Um, smart man. This is how we're going to win. Kansas City's going to win. If Kansas City win, uh, Patrick Mahomes is going to play well. Of course. You'd win. have to think He's so. He's going to win the MVP. Did he? I also Get said that. that we're going to throw yeah. him in for three touchdowns, but I took that out. <sighs> how many did you end up with? More than yeah, three. At least three. That hurts. Are we wanted Kelsey. No, we took it out. It's fine. Kelsey to score a touchdown. Scored. Yep. If those all happen, Kansas City winning, Patrick Mahomes MVP, Kelsey touchdown, it's going to be overs. So yep. the overs for the game, for the points, was like 50, 50 points. Mm. I think it was like 70. It was like yep. 35 yeah. 70 to maybe. 73. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Six dollar multi <clears throat> in, your, in your pocket. Thanks for coming. If you didn't get on... Mm. It's not my fault because I pumped it last week. Yeah, yeah you did. Before. We won. We won. And we cleaned them out. Did again. we ever. So Blue Bet's on to me again. Text me. Says, Scoey. what the fuck's going on? Scoey, I can't have you winning all year again this year. So Blue Bet, we didn't we do a bet on the don't weekend. Care if, we don't care what you want. We're we winning everything. We didn't do a Blue Bet on the weekend, but we will this week coming up. Won't have footy in it. Brilliant. Because we know you can't speak about that. No, I can't. You can't either, Ben. I can. You can. We're not doing footy this week. Okay. We're nice. going to come up with something. Yep. Do it's, you think we can get an air conditioner sponsor? Do I, I, I genuinely ask, do you think you can get one? <laughs> My legs are starting to sweat. I looked at Hamish, side-eyed. He mm-hmm. hasn't been speaking for the last two minutes because I've been talking about Bluebet. He's wet. Yep. He's wet. Yep. I, ha- I am a prolific sweater at the best of times. Ben Roberts yep. thinks he's a sweater. He's yep. wearing pastel. Yep. World class. Yep. yep. Oh, pit, yeah. pit, how, pit check. Back's my worry. And then, <laughs> thankfully, I'm sitting down. How are they? Are they they're all right at the moment. My right one is a bit... Oh, no, Ben's, Ben's fine. fine. Ben's fine. Ben's fine. I can feel it. I, I can, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're dripping under that hat. I already am. I'm committing to yeah, it. Brilliant. Blue bet, what's up? I mean, if you want to get on board, jump mm-hmm. on, follow us on Instagram. You know yeah. where to find us. We're going to put some good moles together. Yeah. Uh, the Back Chat Backman's Club. Now, mm. you stumbled upon something this week, Scott, and you're pretty proud of yourself, if I do say so myself. I'll put this to you, boys. You, uh, um, you like to find a little nugget here and there, and I think you found something. Uh, ben and Hamish, I've got something for you. I'm listening. You know your AFL, correct? Yes. Um, this year, there will be eight and a half captain changes in the AFL, which is equal with the, with, with the most ever. Can you explain the half, please? Uh, Toby Green was a co-captain, is now a solo captain. Right, okay. So sure, we got, yep. rid of, got rid of a couple. Canelio is now a vice-captain. That is correct. So that's the half. Wait. So if we ex- should we exclude that? No, we need to include it. It was like the same. It. 2017 was, was eight and a half the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'll start with the bad news. GWS have a forward midfielder as a captain, Toby Green. Dis- that's disappointing. That's, Poor choice. That's the half, right? I would have given it to the milkman. The other eight... <laughs> Do you know what the other eight have in common? All defenders. Well, yeah. they may be. But there's, a, there's some teams that haven't named them, right? So Frio, Geelong, Essendon, Brisbane, they haven't named their new captains. 
I know what they, I know exactly what it is. Geelong, Tom Stewart is yeah. highly likely backman. Yeah. Frio, Alex Pierce, highly yeah. touted. RIP, Andrew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> backman, yeah. Essendon. I think who, who would backman like? Zach Merritt, are you going to make him captain? Probably not. Um, Darcy Parrish, probably not. Mm. Uh, Mason Redmond, Jordan Ridley, probably. Maybe, Backman. yeah, come on. Brisbane, Harris Andrews is touted to win oh, that. Oh, you'd that think job. so. Yep. Backman, mm-hmm. confirmed. North Melbourne, Luke McDonald, Backman. Co-captain, but he's a Backman. Yeah, that's it. Collingwood, Darcy Moore, Backman. Backman, yep. Adelaide, <clears throat> Jordan Dawson, Backman. Mm-hmm. Hawthorne, James Sisley, Backman. Yeah. Boys, it's the, the one thing it. they've got in common it's is the they <laughs> all have no foreskins, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> probably my bet. That would be the safest bet. Blue bet, what's the, the odds on that? that? 50 50 times eight. <laughs> it's the uh, year of the Backman. Come on. It's the year of the Backman. Yeah, it is. I want to announce that to everybody. All right. All right? <laughs> I'm going to follow that up with all eight of them, by the way. <laughs> see where we, see we'll where we land. Next week. Yeah. Okay. Should we get into it? Uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's oh, a tough one to DM Toby Green, isn't it? He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't need to be. We don't need to find oh, him yeah. out. Stewie, tell me how are you, mate? Just All a right, quick question. Benny, we've been doing this on the podcast. This is why your backline can help you win the premiership because, of mm-hmm. course, forwards sell memberships, mids sign sponsorships, and backs. Well, you're going to say win premiership. Yeah, we yeah, are. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll let you say it. it. Very good. Hawthorne. Why Hawthorne's backline will win in the premiership. Yeah, people don't think these guys are going to get away from the wooden spoon. There's a wooden oh, I think spoon you're kidding yourself. I, who, who? Me or? Them, whoever them. they are. <laughs> yeah, correct. Idiots. The captain, James mm. Sicily, will start there. I would have thought so. He's an angry man. Has he, has he put <clears throat> that out of his character? Maybe. We'll is have it, to a little bit. Is it, is it deep down inside of him? It's intrinsic yeah. with the sis. Absolutely. It is. He's an angry man. Second in total intercepts last year. Mm-hmm. Third in metres gained mm-hmm. per game. You don't hear that out of a backman very often. Especially if your team's getting walloped, you do, I think. Yeah. Anyway, continue. <laughs> First in marks per game. Wow. Rebounds per game. Wow. Total marks. Total rebound 50s. Mm. I'm not sure if you get much better than that. That's a stat line. Best and fairest. <clears throat> Name captain. The man's yeah. a leader. Things are looking up for sis. He leads the Hawthorne back line. Sis, is that his nickname, do you think? I would have thought so. Okay, very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Olive, I, maybe. Olive. Sicilian olives, are they a thing? I think so. Maybe. I've had a few. Look, I've seen a little bit of the um, unsociable hawks on social media. Mm. Denver Granger Barras was a part of that. Mm-hmm. No relation to Tom. No. Um, I think he's got a bit of... He's got a bit of, you know what, got a bit of something about him. Did yeah. you see that training vision the other day? Yes. A little bit of how are you? Blake Hardwick, a little oh, bit yeah, of how are Oh, yeah, he's got a little tip, right? Sam Frost, he's got a bit Frosty. of a white line. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's got a dog in him. He, he's got a bit of dog in him. I reckon they've got a bit of dog in him. Yeah, All those dog. guys. Uh, you know what another player, good player is? What about my guy, CJ? CJ. Gun. Giath. Oh, he's quick. Highest 2022 ranking, fifth in bounces per game. How about that? How many bounces do you reckon you've had in your whole career? I've had – have I had more than you? Probably. Have I had more than Ben? Maybe. Have I had more than Dan? I sat – the start of last season, I said to myself, I've had one bounce in the last six years and took two bounces in a game. Wow. (laughs) We were meant to ask fucking Max Gorn about that. We were. We just released that episode and I just remember we didn't ask him about the bounces. Disappointing. I'm going to look up your stats now. 87 bounces. I've had oh 87 bounces. God. That's a lot. They keep stats on. Oh, mate. They, yeah, yeah. Can you look up four skins yeah. from before as well, Charlie? <laughs> yeah, see if that one's on AFL tables. I think if you scroll down to the bottom, it should be there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Hawthorne, they're, they're going to win. They've got a bit of it in them. All right. They okay. do. Melbourne. Oh, here you go. This is it. 2020, 21, sorry, 2021 mm. Premiership winning backline. Yeah, they were. Stephen May, Jake Lever. If you remember when they first came to the club, if we're talking about beers with you, Ben Roberts, Stephen May was accosted on social media for having a beer while yeah. in rehab. Yeah. You remember this? Come on, yep. grow up. People thought, why do we grow get up. Stephen May here? Why do we get Jake Levy here? Well, when they held the Premiership Cup aloft at Optus Stadium mm. in Western Australia during the hub, yeah. that's why. Another Another good, a few beers after that. Nothing wrong with that. And Correct. Stephen May, prodigiously long hitter of the ball, playing golf, by the way. Is he? Prodigious length. Prodigious. Well, yeah. he turns that into fists on the Doesn't field. Doesn't he ever. He's an absolute gun. Oh, he's good. Apparently gets a bit of it. Rebound 50, second in the league. Wow. Apparently. Cheeky good in the fantasy game. Is he? For a Correct. Defender. Mm. Correct. And very, very effective while he's at it. Someone I really love in the Melbourne back line, Harrison Petty. Oh, yeah, the Petty. He's good. I like him. Underrated. 
underrated, genuine. I'm going to say with all respect, battler. Yeah, and I and I wow. mean that in a respectful term, because yep. I was a battler. Mm. You just get one on one with your opponent and you battle them, mm. and you get it done more often than and not. That's what Harrison Petty does. Tom Petty. Am I avoiding someone here in this conversation that may or may not be a relation to you, Hamish? Oh, probably. Is he a backman? Ah, oh, well, he played off halfback for the majority of last year. Very loose. Loose. Yeah, I wouldn't class him as a yeah typical backman. How do you how do you summarize the Melbourne backline? Uh, it's a great question. I feel like they're a bit. It's not, remember the web that West Coast used to have. I feel like they've got a bit of that going about it, and everyone just works well together. But they just do it. If we go back on Angus, I've got notes on him, right? Sure. Let me hear him. <laughs> What's I'll, the first one? I'll tell you the second through four, and then I'll come back to the first one. Second one is uh, rank third in total marks. Yep. Third one is second in total turnovers. Yep. 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 <laughs> Third one, uh, fourth one, or a couple of stats he's had. The first note I have on him is brother of Hammer. Yeah, that's a good note. And I, yeah. <laughs> little, little known fact. Yeah. And if he was to somehow be the captain, I'd be able to answer the other question. Um, but oh, I probably wouldn't do that live. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Charlie. Thanks, Char- Charlie. Brother of Hammer. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they've got some little guys running around as well. Jake Bowie. 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 Oh, Bowie, the, my guy. Nearly broke the record for the most. Did he break the record for the most consecutive wins on debut? He got bloody close. He won like 16 in a row before yeah. he had his first loss. Oh. And Mel- thank God he had a loss because Mel- now I've got the record over him again. Melbourne's defence, they work together. They, they help mm. each other. They go out. They go to, they go to pubs. They have a couple of yeah. little, couple little of quiet fisticuffs. Ones. <laughs> they have a little fisticuffs yeah, during the year. That's fine. Sometimes you just got to lay the law down. Big bruiser. That's correct. Anyway. North Melbourne, last one I'll do today. 2022 Wooden Spoon recipients. Mm. North Melbourne... Their back line's going to have to play very well oh, to win shit, a premiership. Yeah, they will. Oh, boy. Griffin Logue Griffin. comes from the Fremantle Dockers. Mm-hmm. We love – he's cut his hair. Yeah, he's going to have to turn into Matty Scarlett for them to be a chance. <laughs> yes, well – He I've can. Heard, he can. I've, Good player. I've heard apparently he's looking very, very similar oh, to Matthew yeah, the Scarlett. best lats in the business. Jack Zebel steps away from the captaincy. Mm. He goes, you know what? I don't want to spend any more time in the midfield. I'm going to hang around the back line. Yeah, I like it. Luke McDonald goes – Elmac, come on. I'm going to stand up, be the captain. Mm. 2020 best and fairest winner. He's a gun. Same ben, birthday as me, by the way. Really? Elmac, thank you. Night the Feb. Come on. Ha- happy birthday. Very happy good. birthday for El Mac. Yep. Ben Mackay, <laughs> Aiden Core. Core. I mean, <laughs> if you're asking for the core, I'm pretty sure there's a Bonner in there as well. Aiden Bonner, yeah. Siebel's going back. Yeah, we did say that, I think. Ben. Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ben. Ben's too busy on I the would, shelters. I wouldn't be surprised if Ben wasn't listening to a thing I said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What North, team were we I just doing? I was thinking about that I needed a beer. Yeah. <laughs> North Melbourne Football Club, that's why they're winning the premiership, the oh Backman's Club. God. It's the year of the backs. It is. All right? Yeah. It's the year of the backs. The mm-hmm. captain's backs, year of the backs. <laughs> I'm sweating so <laughs> it's much. Hot. I've just hit. I've just tipped over the edge. All right. Uh, nice. Tomorrow's... Do you want a beer? Ben, do you want a fresh one? No, I need one, yeah. Can we get yeah. um, Ben a fresh beer? Thank, Thank you, Kat. Uh, tomorrow's guest is a little... Um, got, to, got to say, it was exceptionally shit, that episode, that, that segment just said. Well, we just didn't go yeah. through. I mean, Melbourne are really good, so that's not a hard one to go through. North and then Melbourne's a struggle. North Melbourne North and Melbourne Hawthorne, Hawthorne are just... Yeah. They're going to win a premiership because they're backline, but it's tough. Ryan McCauley and... Uh, Rishan Pasatoa. Mm. Uh, How do you feel about those two? Yeah, they, they, they're, they're my favourites, I think. <laughs> I feel like they're going to do really well for North Melbourne coming off the bench. Do you, um, do you know who these two gentlemen are? A couple ben? of household names. Do you know that? No, Ryan Pasatoa, was it? So Ryan McCauley and Rajan Pasatoa. Uh, Rajan. Rajan Pasatoa. Sorry, Kat's getting in. Come on. Uh, a couple of lads from the Western Force. Uh, their, oh, the lads, season, yeah. their season oh. kicks off this Friday night. Does 25th it? of Feb. 25th of Feb. So uh, we brought them on to the Back Chat podcast. Uh, it's our guest episode that we'll be releasing tomorrow. If you don't know anything about Union. Yeah, neither do we. Um, you might learn something tomorrow when, this, um, when that episode comes out. Correct. I thought I would let you go solo with it because you're just a... a you're a Union, union guy. guy. So... Yeah, um, and I was. I mean, why did you? Why did you think that was a good idea? Um, because Dan was scared. Dan, Dan, was scared Dan, of Dan was still sick, I think. Yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah, I was in a bad. You were in a bad way too. Nah, you, Dan you was, was scared you of just them. Battled what? through. All right. Yeah, you, you were in a bad. You were sick too. Well, yeah, I was. And I, and yeah, I I'm saying uh, props to oh, you. Shit, that's nice. You battled through. So that's that's the episode coming out tomorrow. Look, 
they got some interesting stuff to talk about, even though if, if you're not a union person or a rugby person. You ever been to a rugby union game, boys? Uh, I, I have you have. I used to work at the Western Force. I was going to say, this is why I'm asking you, do you know who these players are? No, not at all. You used to work there, didn't you? Yeah, a long time ago. I've been and watched local rugby at like Cottesloe. I can't remember the who Gulls. that was. But I, I went and watched them, mm. but I have not been and watched a, uh, a professional game. match. No. The, um, what what were you doing at the Western Force? Oh, the, it's like a video and media stuff. Um, mm-hmm. In my interview, I, I said, look, I, just to put the cards on the table, I, I don't know how many points you get for a try. <laughs> got, yeah. got what the is the answer? Is it five? It's, I, all I knew, I, st- I can't remember, I knew it was different in league and rugby, and um, but I wasn't sure which one was That's which. That's a great question. Okay. I, I don't know. I'll say four. Uh, Probably should have asked the I think, stat check I think on it's that? five. Okay. Two, two for conversion. There Last time I went to a force game, uh, it was at that HIF. Arena, HBF or whatever in Perth. Giant curbs around the arena, horribly built. And I rolled my ankle walking down a curb. This is really tall, thick curbs. So that was my experience of going to the Just allergic to staying up straight. (laughs) (laughs) Just (laughs) falling in the shower. Big horizontal man. (laughs) I just love being on the the floor. Do you just mean the gutter? No, no, no. The curbs around the whole outside, like the pathway down to the street. I'm almost Giant. confident he means the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm confident okay. he means the gutter. Force games are good fun. You should go. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Five points for a try. Five points Five, for a try. And then there you go. One, one for the kick. Two for the Five conversion. Points, Two for the conversion. <laughs> yeah. Can you – all right. Great. There you go. Thanks, Charlie. Um, <laughs> brother of Hamish. Oh, um, God. All right. You send it. We read it. Uh, we've got a sting for this. Let's go. Can't hear it. You send it. We read it. You'd hear it a lot better if you didn't talk over it, Dan. It's uh, you send it, we read it. We, we might, might read it. it. Yeah, Thank come you. on, that's Thank right. Uh, Leadable cameras. Do you want to talk about the big event coming up this Thursday? Our first <laughs> Lydia live is fighting event. Dan. <laughs> I remember we booking that in. What was Lydia, that? Black Lydia, belt Lydia is having a one-on-one oh, in a cage yeah. with Dan. So get down to lead with cameras. Oh. You're going to be have Dan v Lydia in a cage. <laughs> will they be, will be, be wearing awesome. clothes? We're going to grease us both up and just <laughs> Greco-Roman around. wrestling. I'm pretty sure that's done in the nude. No, we've got a great event down there. Back chat live for the first time this year, 2023. Hammer. You're invited. Yep, I'll ben, be there. you're invited. If we actually bring all the people here, there'll be at least 10 people. Yeah, that'll be nice. good. So we've got the Back Chat Live oh, event. It's brought to you by Leadable Cameras. Thanks to Videndum. Mm. Okay, we went through all the gear that Joby sent over Oh yeah, via Videndum. What did we think about – what did they think about their review? <laughs> they loved it. Personally, did it? It was a glowing review. They yeah. loved it. Glowing. That's Just good. like the lights they sent over. They mm. glow. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy McGovern, Tom Barass, live and in person. Mm. Phones in the bucket. Put them away. Don't want to see them. Don't want to hear about them. <laughs> this is on the this is on the cusp of season 2023. Yeah. I believe Jeremy McGovern could have the greatest season he's had in the AFL this year. I've seen that. yeah, shit yeah. I've seen definition on his arms for the first time. He's looking skinny. Yeah, Let, skinny. No, not skinny, looking strong. He's looking strong. Yeah. He's looking intercept like interceptor king. Intercept. He looks taller back. as well. He looks taller. He does look taller. Dan. He's That's grown. A- okay, exclusive. <laughs> yeah. So Tom, Tom Brass, Jeremy McGovern, uh, vice captains of the West Coast Eagles. Mm. That's a fact. That is factual. <laughs> That's a factual statement. That is a fact. <laughs> yeah. Fully catered. <laughs> fact. Mm-hmm. Beers. Fact. Fact. All there. So you got the two mm. blokes. You got me interviewing them. I'll get the. I'll get the stories out of them. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go watch them on Channel Seven News and hear about how good they were on the weekend? Go and see that. You hear, hear that for free. Yeah. You want to see Scoey get into the backman's mindset? You wanted me to get some stories out of him that you've never heard before? The dark arts. Might want to come down to Leadable Cameras. You can jump on, grab tickets. Um, you can find that on our link on our on our Instagram page. You can just send an email to Lydio, straight to Lydio. Yeah. And put the title, I'm gonna Dan, v, yeah. Dan, <laughs> Dan v. Lydio. Lydio. I want it. Yeah. If we get enough people that want, if, write to Lydio and say, I want the seat of fight, we will put it on. Oh, okay, shit. I will say that. Lydio at leadablecameras.com.au. Ben, would you like to come to that? The I'll fight. i have to check the calendar, mate. <laughs> okay. Keen if I can. What if there's a fight? Yeah, I'll be there and I'll watching be. it. I'll, okay. make, I'll make time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Lydio did say he hasn't fought in a while, so I might be in with a chance. Lydio the also- a black belt, I think, from memory. Hasn't fought in a while, mate. Have you ever fought in your life? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you have, please no, tell, tell us about story. it. I you couldn't know, fight your way through you, a wet paper bag you, at this point. Have you had a fight? I've never had a proper fight like, fight. You're fighting someone. Yeah, no one's ever. Like, you fight no people. One's ever. No, one's no I mean, I don't ever fight people. Put your hand up in here if you had a Anyone fight. Anyone ever had someone. a proper fight? Doug's no, looking no. at me with some yeah. weird eyes. <laughs> Doug's like, oh, yeah. Taekwondo oh, okay, oh, tournament. There you go. That's uh, fighting. Doug's going to kill us all. Yeah. 
All right. Doug versus Lady O. <laughs> Doug, Doug, Doug v. Lady Dan. Lady. Doug v. Dan. What about, what do they call it? The uh, the triple threat. Oh, yeah, the triple threat. That'd Me, be great. Doug, Lydio. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just right. jump out of the ring and then let them go to work. <laughs> mm. Trial by right. combat. You can pick your champion. We've got an email from Stephen Candy. It says you, this. Hi, oh, Steve. Hey, team. Just want to say how good Fat Chat is. Thanks, mate. Great. <laughs> but for now, what <laughs> I really wanted to email about was my vasectomy. That's right, it's penis. We're back. Snip stories. Snip talk, stories. We're talking fuckers. Just hold on a second. Snip stories. Ben, if you don't know about snip stories. I'm not there yet. Vasectomy stories. Mm-hmm. Snip stories. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that point. But you I, haven't I, had the snip haven't yet. haven't had the snip yet. Yeah. Neither yeah. have I. All right. <laughs> Wouldn't have thought Sounds so. like Stephen has. It's on the horizon though. Yeah. Stephen okay. might have just gone for it. <clears throat> Here we go. After four kids, three pregnancies, twin girls being the last, we decided that we are well outnumbered and truly done. It took me over a year to actually commit and book it in and go for my consult, where the doctor told me what was going to happen. It all sounded fine and I was ready. The night before, I was set and ready to go. Had my day planned to go to the doctors um, and have him manhandle my junk, then go home and watch the Lakers play Portland. Mm. Uh, I wake up Tuesday morning and the little fella and his nutty mates must have known what was about to happen as they all went into hiding. Uh, so I thought been, it was going the other way. <laughs> Get one last good one out of it. <laughs> Waking up with a raging erection. <laughs> Osama bin Laden wouldn't have got caught if he'd hit as well as my balls did. Wow. <laughs> as the doc said, I have to shave them basically uh, because they were hiding inside my body. I felt like I was 12 again before puberty kicked in and mm. gave me hair down there. 12? Wow, Stephen. Now, I've bloomer. never been a shower, always a grower. Respect mm. And as I sat there, I kept thinking... He's seen heaps of dicks. Just, <laughs> just drop your dax and you'll be all right. And that's what I did. I laid on the table, shirt on, pants off. He said, now you'll feel a little prick. And I had to fight the urge to say, that's what I normally say. But, uh, but I sure did feel that needle go right into my left testicle. Oh my then God. he said, now the other side. Boy, oh boy, did that fucking hurt. My toes curled and my leg tensed but after a few seconds i couldn't feel a thing i laid there for 15 minutes as he cut those tubes and i felt nothing but the smell of burning and seeing the smoke i won't forget after the the local wore off it felt like someone was constantly flicking my nuts (laughs) not hard but just like flick 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 and that's just because the lakers played shithouse Uh, i iced for i iced for hours and kept the painkillers up for a couple of days uh, it's now Friday, three days later. My penis is back from being an innie and my testicles are back to where they belong, but swollen as fuck. Um, as the awesome. pamphlet says, I'm not allowed any pleasure for the next seven days and can expect blood next time I ejaculate. Awesome. So hell. I can't Very wait for detail. that. Mm. I hope you enjoyed reading this as much as yeah. I enjoyed the needles. Have a great day. Well done. Love, Stephen. Wowee. Oh, that was my first live snip story that I've heard. Really? <laughs> I think so. My favourite line, this bloke's seen some dicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to think he has too. And no, I mean, I'm not anywhere near the snip, but you just got to think that the doc sits there and judges on the way in. I mean, it's a, oh, why wouldn't you? If you're you reckon the doc's going, all right, one of these guys got a small dick yeah. or not? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely thinking that he's thinking that. And far out, a bloody po- seven days post, yeah. busting that nut would be tough. Yeah, you send it. We might read Shit, it. Yeah, that's why the cut this All right. week. Um, yeah. We've well got done. another one which uh, you're actually going to read. So I've just emailed it to you again. So it's at, oh. right at the top of your preparation. Uh, if you do want to send us an email, hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Our rule has always been: if you send it, we will read it. But uh, look, right now it's if you send it, we'll read it, but not on air. We might mm. just read it on air. I mean, I know you're uh, padding for me. Like, is it not just on the run sheet? I mean, we've got the run sheet right here. Is it not on the run sheet? No, it's just there. I forward it to your email. Well done, Dan. Okay. I've got nothing coming through on email. Back so. to, just back to Stephen while we're padding mm. here and Scoey's trying to find it. Mm-hmm. Is he just like, are they, you getting the same feeling out of it, I wonder? Are you just firing blanks? And I, is there anything volume, left in the tank? Yeah, volume. Like, like, do you have a couple of like good shots left in you after the snip? I don't know. These Look, are all questions that I'm not sure. There is a guy named Dr. Snip. In yeah, Perth, why not? Well, um, And maybe he could write in and let us know. Well, it's just a details. question that I'd have to ask myself. Mm. I mean, are you still good to go for maybe one or two? Do you have a couple of good shots left in you? Well, I think that's why I have to clear what, the pipes. You want me to go this one? Uh, I thought that's what you said you wanted to read out. I, was, I thought we left that one out. but you we, said did, we did leave it out. Okay, great. No. 
Well, yeah. then that's fine. You didn't want to read it out. <laughs> no, that's fine. What's um, wrong with it? You literally told me not to read it out. That's right. Let's keep going then. Um, Dan, all right. Well, that's all the emails for hello for uh, that was right. got sent through to mm. hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. We do have, though, fines because they've been sending them in. Yeah, they have been. The best way is to send in an <clears throat> audio. audio fine now, which you can see. Um, mm-hmm. There's a little form on our website. Backchatpodcast.com.au mm. forward slash fines. Yeah, so easy. Um, and uh, we've got two ready to go. One from Saxon Salinas, who's oh, yeah, birthday Sax. it is today. Oh, well, happy, happy So we're just going to say a happy birthday. Uh, yeah, happy birthday to and Sax. Indy. And Indy. Oh, yeah. and Indy. Yep, that's right. And, yeah. and Hammer for... And Hammer for a couple of weeks. And Luke McDonald. <laughs> Anyone else's birthday that <laughs> yep. we're missing? No, no, no one? No, All right. no, no, no one. Beautiful. Ben, All right. When do you turn 24? 24. Uh, November, mate. A little while ago. Perfect. Beautiful. Yep, great. All right, let's go to this first one. Happy birthday, Saxon. Saxon Sound is here, and today I'm finding Shashi Shaktavel seven dollars because, um, as one of my mates was telling a story about how he had to call an ambulance for his neighbour having a heart attack on the front lawn, he burst out laughing just upon hearing the story while everyone else is like mm-hmm. feeling sad for having to deal with such a traumatic experience. Mm-hmm. He just hears heart attack and just automatically thinks to laugh. So, mm-hmm. very poor by you, Shashi. Oh, I can I can understand that Shakshri Shakshri or whatever that, I can mean can you so just for because we have a lot of people yeah, here who, who aren't wearing hear. headphones essentially give us just a little recap of what we have Saxon heard? just fined someone $7 for, for Shakshun the charcuterie board <laughs> fined him $7 for um for laughing at a story of someone having a heart attack and having to call an ambulance heard the word heart attack and just instantly started laughing now it's probably not the story to laugh at, granted, but mm-hmm. I can I can fully understand that once you've got the giggles, it's you just oh, it's over. Hard to stop. It's very hard to stop the giggles in any like <laughs> any non appropriate situation. The giggles get going and you're done. Like you can be at a funeral and something's funny and you and you yeah. just can't stop. And especially if you're around the right people. I was at my cousin's wedding with all four of my brothers and the priest was just talking about something and he said something that was funny and we're sitting in these church pews meatballs. and all of a sudden just <laughs> the church pews are rocking and I've got the bloke next to me just pissing himself, just ruining, distracting from the wedding. Betty, but, did you know that James Hurd's 50th birthday party, they said, they I, I caught this. 700 meatballs. Exactly yeah. 700. Yep. Yeah. No more, so no less. We found the article with the Hello Sport Boys. I, yeah. I searched it Brilliant. live, found mm. it, found some more details. Or what were the so details? I saw photos. There's, there's literally about 50 people sitting around. There's fucking meatballs everywhere. How big are these yeah. meatballs? It's like pyramids there's of meatballs. There's pyramids of meatballs. Yeah. People have got meatballs on their plays. There's people. There's now, uh, in terms of like, are we talking tennis ball size, big bastards, or are we let little yeah, golf ball no, meatballs? Decent sized meatballs. Bigger like, than a golf like, ball, smaller than a meatball. Yep. A squash, squash ball. Yes, squash yeah, ball. Nice. Squash. Wow, both things. Yeah, squash. I'm a big squash guy. Not really. Squash, Never played it. Squash. All right, uh, we're going to find from Nick. Take that on board. G'day, boys. Nick here. Oh, yeah. uh, new listener to the pod. Just wanted to find my mate Trent two dollars fifty for only ever replying to group chats with those stupid bit emojis. Mm. No one knows what you're trying to say, man. Just give it a rest. Uh, also, I know he listens to the pod, so he'll definitely hear this. Uh, g'day, Trent. Hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, cheers, boys. Two dollars fifty. Cop that, Trent, and that is one and two. Sorry. The <clears throat> follow up with my mate for always right. Hi, Trent. I hope you're doing well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Trent. Hope you're doing well. Here's two dollars fifty. <laughs> For replying to group messages with bitmojis only. No one knows what you're talking about, Trent. Figure it out. That's very bloody good. Mm. Very good. Well done, Trent. All right. It's hot. We're going to wrap this up. Fucking Uh, stinking hot. One last little thank you to Samps and Doug for coming. Oh, Oh, shit, yeah. VIP, VIP patrons. Um, Welcome. If you 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 do want to join our... um, Samps or Doug, if you want to to be them. If you want to be them, yeah, uh, backchatpodcast.com.au. You you can sign up as a patron there. If they want to be with them, Mm. not just... If they want to be with them. Oh, like as a couple? I don't know. Could do. You guys are single or mm. no? Nah. Yeah. Nah, nah. Sam's. Yep. Oh, Sam's is, all right. Sam's so is. So yeah, offers their potential Sam's. Yeah. Um, sign up on Patreon. Backchatpodcast.com. You can sign up as a patron there. Uh, we're doing some great stuff over mm. at uh, Patreon. We're rebranding it. It's going to be very cool. We've got yeah. some merch stuff happening. We've got extra episodes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Got- yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> I've got no idea. We've got discount codes for all of our mm. sponsors like Whippersnapper Whiskey, Margaret yeah. Roasting, uh, Shelter Brewing Co. Oh, you can get a discount. 
on for live back chat show. If you want to save yourself uh, yeah, fifteen yeah. bucks, oh shit, yeah, sign up to Patreon for five. So you could sign up for five dollars. Mm-hmm. You get the discount for 15. Genius. You could then. You made 10 bucks. You correct. You actually made $10. Yeah. It's like, like, it's like just going to Lydia and saying, go, he sent you. He <laughs> gives you money. That's right. Fucking bizarre. Hey, if you don't want to do that, don't mm. do it. You don't want to make 10 bucks, don't do it. Yeah, don't save yourself and 10 if bucks. If you don't, don't do that, then you won't hear our special VIP patron section mm. that's coming up next. Brought to you by. Yeah, brought to you by. Brought to you by. Cat. Cat. Yeah. Uh, last show with us. Oh, yeah, Cat. After. Mm-hmm. How many episodes ish, Kat? How many? How long do you think you've been? A year at least, year and a half. Yeah, year and a half. Year and a half. Wow. Huge effort. No, let's not. Yeah, well, round, round of applause. applause clapping. A lot of clapping. I mean, it's also an audience in here. Have we got a photo of anyone, everyone in here? I think Kat's been on the socials, haven't you? I saw you get up and film some stuff. Unless it was for personal, just memories last night in. Just a scrapbook. Hey, Benny. Uh, thanks for joining us, yeah. mate. Yeah, a round of applause for Benny. Everybody, boy, work out here. Uh, Benny, we'll, we'll see you over at socials. Maybe back in here when Hamish uh, can't get in here. Or maybe when I can't get in here. Maybe you can mm. fill, fill the... Uh... Haven't missed this year, though, so that's nice. No, you've been you strong. Yeah, thanks. Man. I mean, Ben thanks. hasn't missed either, to, yeah, be, to be fair. Ever. Been, been invited once. Yeah, he's come once. Yeah, hasn't missed ever. Good on you, Ben. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, mate. Fuck All right, imagine. that's it for us. Anyone else want to clap? Charlie? <laughs> uh, well, Charlie, Charlie. Gave on. Oh. You shouldn't have joined in on that. <laughs> yeah. Charlie was going to clap himself. Uh, stick around for Patreon. Stick around for Patreon. <laughs>